welcome to Games Master, where we're sometimes asked, instead of all that modern video game computer work of setting claptrap nonsense, why don't you feature traditional family board games instead? Well, we don't because they're cack. Cluedo is a game set in the Tudor Mansion, which only serves to exaggerate the class divide already in existence in this country. Scrabble, a farcical affair where the word pants only gets you a low score. And worst of all, Twister, an infantile thing where the people that you're playing with often end up falling on top of you. Now, where's the fun in that, I ask you? Not nearly as much as there is in today's show. Nice ladies, Emma Noble and Debbie Flett, whip themselves into a frenzy in Final Furlong. But we begin with an event we call, Oi Bloke from Another Country. Are you starting? For the hardcore arcade gamer, Tekken 3 is the king of beat-em-ups, boasting a depth of gameplay that's made it a hit not just here, but in arcades all over the planet. For today's challenge, we've assembled the greatest Tekken 3 players in the world to decide once and for all who is King Tekken. From Norway comes 24-year-old champion Oysten Andersen. Oysten runs an arcade in Oslo and actually owns a Tekken 3 arcade machine at home. For the last week, Oysten's been off for the practice for what will surely be the fight of his life. The United States is represented by Jeff Shu, who spends 5 to 10 hours a day playing Tekken 3. At a recent championship in Las Vegas, 20-year-old Jeff trounced the opposition. Will he do the same here? From Japan, the home of Tekken 3, we flew in 21-year-old Sho Hiraki. Sho claims to play the game for enjoyment rather than to win, but this hasn't stopped him becoming a legend in his hometown of Tokyo. <laughs> Fighting for the home country, 18-year-old Ryan Hart, an ice cream bar attended by day, by night a regular winner of national tournaments. Known as the best Tekken 3 player in the country, he's earned himself the nickname of The Terminator. The stage is set for the first international tournament ever. The champions have assembled, only one can win. The winner will be decided in a league of six matches. Every challenger will play everybody else only once. Each match will take the form of the best of three doubts, with all game options set to their factory defaults. I think my champions are ready, so <laughs> let's get going. So, please welcome her from the four corners of the world, the greatest Tekken 3 players on planet Earth, Ryan Hart. Jeff Shu, Sho Haraki, and Oyston Anderson. Yeah. Well, Jeff. Well, Oyston. Yeah. Welcome to the show, show. Right, Ryan, uh, let's start with you. Um, why? What is it about Tekken 3, uh, the whole Tekken series of games, that you think makes them better than other beat em ups? Well, when, when hits connect, you actually see the blow, you actually see the spark, you know, you, you feel the solid hit. And, and not, not really many other games have done that. Yeah. You know. Jeff, you're from Berkeley, uh, yeah, California, yes, which I think, if, if I'm correct in thinking, it's the, the only place in the world where you can still legally walk around naked. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I think they might have uh, made a rule. Have you, have you tried yeah, it? Yeah, after. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't say I have, yeah. <laughs> now, Oyston. You talk to other Tekken players on the internet and you think that helps you learn the psychology of how to play? Well, probably. And um, another problem is that I have no one at my skill level to play in Norway. Yeah. And, uh, and finally, show obviously in Japan, a little bit crazier than, than, we, than we are here. Is, is there like thousands of people playing Tekken in Japan? Yeah, about 5,000 uh, 5, people playing in Tekken. 5,000 people playing. Yeah. Uh, Okay, this is probably the biggest tournament we've ever had on Games Master. We're going to commence with it now. The first match is going to be Great Britain against Norway. That's Ryan against Oyston. If you'd like to take your places by the machine, gentlemen, I'll go up to the commentary box. Helping me to describe the action for our Tekken 3 World Championship is Mr. Derek Lynch. Now, people have often asked me, why is Derek Lynch qualified to talk about beat em ups? We'll put it this way, we actually played each other earlier on today. Derek beat me without even looking at the screen. <laughs> that is how good Mr. Red Hot Lynch is. Uh, right, okay, we are going to be running a league table throughout this competition. The league table is going to be uh, written thus. How many games have played, how many games have won, how many games have lost, and then we're going to add bouts for, bouts against, so we've got like a goal difference as well. If you're familiar with football, this will make total sense to you. If you're not familiar with football, 
then your life is very, very empty and uh, you're probably not worth talking to. Three points for a win, zero points for a loss. <sighs> let's get started. Okay, Ryan and Oyston, let's get it on. So Ryan is playing as Paul in the red pajamas on the left-hand side. Oyston playing as Hihachi in the camouflage pants on the right-hand side. Energy bars are at the top left and right of the screen. You can see Ryan's one is down very low already. It's a great start by Oyston playing as Hihachi, Derek. That's right. Uh, Oyston's using some special tactics there and really confusing Ryan. But Ryan's coming back. Some he is coming. Come on, both. That was great, Derek, wasn't it? Oh. One more hit by uh, It's both one. It's one nil to Ryan. We can see in the replay there, it's a fantastic punch for the stomach, the head finished up by a flying kick. A fantastic comeback there. Okay, about two then. About the Oyster that Sahachi must win. And it's interesting to know that the, the blue sparks, the blue smoke, are defensive. It means blocked. Yes. If you see a red, if you see a red puff of smoke, it means they've connected. A blue puff of smoke means it's been defended. Both of the players quite low down in energy. It's a very, very close second bit, but Paul is in the lead now. Oh, no, it's a great bit of a comeback from Oyster there. It's a lovely spin of kick, and that's it. Oyster draws it level. The final deciding about Ryan as Paul in the red, Boyston as High Hachi in the camouflage pants here. Good start by Paul Hachi's fast quite low already, Derek. Very good defensive techniques from both sides. They That's really right. are sizing each other up. All the blue puffs of smoke, they are not taking energy off because they've been defended. But that one got through, Derek. Oh, and the oh. spinning one has a good little combo. Paul in trouble now. Right. Austin's looking for, for a good combo. That's he's, he's running away, he's running away. And then coming back in. We thought Ryan was the favourite. We could have an upset in the very first fight. Oh! Ryan is down. It's Oyster has definitely seen the best in this fight. But we, we're running oh! out of time, actually. Oh, no. Ryan is down. And they're running out of time. Oh! There's an in the very first game. Oyster takes out 1-0 to Norway. OK, the next right. fight, then, it's, uh, it's, it could be another classic. Japan against the USA. Best of luck, Jeff and uh, show. Let's get it on. Uh, Okay, so Jeff is playing as Law in the yellow jumpsuit on the left show, playing as Eddie with the massive big afro and the blue flary <laughs> denims. And it's a great start by, it's a great start there by Eddie actually, it's a great start by Show. That's right, he's really putting those big white shoes to full effect with the capoeira style, which means he'll, he'll do cartwheels and break dancing, which really does confuse the opponents. Yes, he does. Okay, so, uh, I don't want to look at Eddie Jamal, that's it's the first fight to Eddie Tiger, that's the first fight to Show there. <laughs> Fantastic display, a so, great finish there, Derek. So it's truly using the confusing tactics of the Capoeira guy, Eddie. Okay, we're into the second bite now. It's about the Jeff as well for America must win, but his energy bars quite the ready, but he's starting a very good fight back. That's America in the yellow jumpsuit against Japan in the blue denim and afro. And we can see it's America winning this one. We can look at the energy bar, the top right hand corner of the screen. It's going down, it's quite not, it's definitely, oh. it's one all. Fantastic finishing combo there, Derek. Right, yeah, that's what they're going for. They're aiming to get the opponent up into the air and then do the combo before he ever touched the ground. Which is Okay, <laughs> final decided by America okay. against Japan. America in the yellow, Japan in the denim. <laughs> it's anyone's going, oh, great! Oh, what the fuck? Look at that energy bar applause. It's gone right down, Derek. Very powerful throw there. Really good the energy. Right out, but he's come back a little bit now there. And it's quite even, but it's a great fight back from America now. After round one, we can see that Jeff and Oyston are tied at the top with uh, one win and a bout difference of plus one because they won both the bouts 2-1. And equally, Ryan and Shaw are tied at the other end of the table. No points with a minus one bout difference. It's Great Britain against the USA and next up. This is a match that Ryan really has to win if Britain is going to have any say at the top of this World Championship table. We wish you the best of luck, Ryan and Jeff. Let's get it on! Okay, so Jeff is playing Nina on the left hand side, she's a girl, and Ryan is playing Paul on the right hand side, he's a blow. It's a much better start there. Oh, oh no, but it's not for the throw there, it's America actually in the ascendancy, Derek. That's right, he's using it, he's very defensive and blocking, then went for a throw. Oh, but that's a great double punch, double kick combo there from the UK's fighting heart there. That's right, the energy's right low. Oh, energy's right low, it's about one to the UK, Ryan won them up. We look at the replay, again, it's double punch. 
on the day. Yes, thank you, Derek. <laughs> OK, uh, five two there, the Jeff, USA, and Nina, the girl on right. the left-hand side, has to win this to stay in this match here. But again, right. those punches and... Oh, right. that's the game! Oh, that's the massive one! Paul has moved right there, <laughs> pulling down to the ground. OK, but look at the energy bars. Uh, Nina's energy bar is low. No, but she's just got a couple of kicks. No, but then Paul's oh. got one still. This could be Brett taking this two dollar America in big trouble here. That's right, Ryan. You oh, he's finished with a throw. And that's it. Finishing with a throw. Ryan back in the pit. The UK wins that one two 0 UK, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Right then. Okay. The next fight, Oyston against Show. Let's get it on. Okay. So Norway, Hihachi, right hand side, topless. Japan, Eddie Tiger, uh, kind of pant short, Michael short thing, right? Okay then, right, but look at the energy bars, we can see how Hatches is low down already. Oyster in trouble this night, Derek. That's right. Um, Japan, oh, oh, I, 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 oh, yes, Oyster loses that one, no Short time. comes back, wins the first one, 1-0 one to Japan. Okay, straight in there. Straight into the second bout here. Again, oh. like the other fight, the person who lost the first fight is now winning the second match. What a competition, Derek. Oystein using, oh, shows Yuka Capoeira here is unbelievable. And Clean it's the first win, it's the second win, it's a very, very quick match. Show comes back from the supposed to be to win it 2-0 for Japan. Every single one of our competitors has now won one match. That means that bout difference is going to come into play. We're going to look at how many individual bouts they've won. We're going to sort out all of that, and you will find out who is now at top of the table after this week's Celebrity Challenge. Since, alas, it seems this is the last challenge I'll ever set, I prepared something really special to see us out. The arcade horse racing sim, Final Furlough. Put on the perverse, plastic thing, my two contestants must race each other to the affinity post on the one mile track by furiously pumping the reins of their hapless mag. Right, well, let's get ready for the off. We've gone for the fantastic integrity again to play this horse racing game. Please welcome from player cards by like Brucey's favourite girls, Debbie Flett and Emma Noble. Yeah! Horses when I was about you were what, 14. I beg your pardon? Bucked <laughs> off horses. <laughs> right, okay. When I was about 14. Uh -huh. And that's the only experience I've had, so I'm hopefully yeah. <laughs> nothing like that's going to happen today. Uh -huh. Debbie, have you been to the horse racing or anything like that? Yeah, I've been um, to horse, ride, horse racing in Canada. Yeah. And I've also been to the dogs as well in Wimbledon. <laughs> the same dogs. sort of thing. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> of betting. And, uh -huh. and I'm going to the dogs. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's just been that happened. Uh -huh. Uh, it's commercial break time. Remember, in the second half of the show, we are going to have uh, the final of uh, the World Tech 3 Championship, as well as these two semi professional horse riders. We'll see you after this break. <laughs> Debbie Flett and Emma Noble are about to play Final Four Long, and we're joined by the most serious of Games Master Club commentators, Mr. Kirk Ewan. Kirk, it's the final time we will stand together in this box. How do you feel? Well, I'm not sad about it, because quite frankly, I think it's time that you loosened your Fagin-like grip on me, and I won't have to do any of these nighttime service fees for you anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, as far as uh, horses go, and these uh, electronic ones in particular, yes. what tips have you got for the girls? Well, I mean, the basic tips here are not, not, not to bolt out too fast. You want to be adopting the right position. It's very difficult to, to show you this. But you I wanna, can see it, though. You want to be getting kind of, yeah. you know, this going. Now, did you, I don't know if you caught that, but that's what you want. If you get that and you just keep it tidy all the way through the race, then you've got a chance. What we're doing is we've got a one-mile race. Everyone's first past the post. We'll go away with our final ever celebrity golden joystick. Best of luck, Debbie. Best of luck, Emma. Off you go. Okay, the horse is installed. Debbie Flett's in the white one. Emma and Noble. They're off. Well, they're off. And they're coming up. I'm going to stay with Emma. With uh, Debbie Flett. First of all, you can see Debbie Flett. And ahead of her, you can see Emma Noble. Emma Noble is in the lead. It's sticking the wake up. Emma Noble's in the lead. You're absolutely right. four lengths ahead. Of That's only two lengths in Dominic Diamond Terms. But she's about four lengths ahead. She's waiting. I knew a bit of chance to use 
the, with, but the energy is still staying good and she's got a nice nice lead there I think. Yes, if you go by the Debbie Fletch one, you can see that Debbie is now in the lead in the Wales, but she's going too fast this next. She's gonna run out of energy and the fact let's go back to Emma, so is Emma Kurt. Emma's also going too fast, but you can see her fine F line limbs pumping away there like madness. Absolutely beautiful to see this in action. They say the girl, but just about halfway through the race, and if we stay with Emma no was more, we can see that Debbie Fletch the white ahead. It's three of colours to go though, but Debbie Fletch is still in the lead with Stephen Emma. exciting to watch, fantastically exciting to watch. <laughs> now if we can talk about the race. Now uh, you, you did all right actually there Emma, but I think you got beaten by a, a, a very short length. I got beaten by a whip. <laughs> yeah. He started uh, whipping me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm She's doing that. She's so uh -huh. out of control. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going, this is great. I have to come up with any end but this is fantastic. <laughs> well, no. Um, <laughs> anyway. Was yeah. it very tiring? Well, I'm quite competitive, you see, uh -huh. and I, I'm, I was actually possessed. I don't know if you noticed. Yep. Well, I was like, yeah, Debbie, let's have so, some fun. Well, Debbie was like, no. <laughs> the thing is, you, you, you say that you were possessed, De Debbie. So was I. At one stage, I went quite rigid. You know? Nice. And it was, uh, I'm glad that we had that effect on you, Dominic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to miss this show. That's I'm going to miss this show. <laughs> let's award the final celebrity going against Master Joystick 2, Debbie Flett. <laughs> We've got the final of our Tekken 3 World Championship to come. That's after today's news. For the nation's 1.9 million PlayStation owners, the game of 98 will be Resident Evil 2. After well over a year of development, the title's finally complete and we've got hold of some exclusive footage from Japan. The new game comes on two CDs and is a massive eight times bigger than its predecessor. The action takes place in Raccoon City, which has been overrun by, yes, zombies, hungry for their dinner. The basic style of the game remains. It's a usual mixture of puzzle solving, boss bashing, general carnage, but with improved graphics, sound and a variety of new weapons, Resident Evil 2 seems set to make the original look about as scary as Parappa the Rapper. Released in Japan in a couple of weeks, infuriatingly though, we won't be getting our hands on it till spring. It is now time for the final round of our Tekken 3 World Championship. It quite literally could not be closer if we take a look at the league table now. We can see that Ryan and Shaw, who were bottom of the league after the first match, are now top of the league. All the players have got three points, but if we add up the amount of individual bouts they've won and take away the ones they've lost, Ryan and Shaw have a plus one bout difference. Jeff and Oyston now have a minus one. This makes our final two bouts very, very interesting because uh, Jeff from the USA and Oyston from Norway are in effect playing to avoid coming bottom. Right. It's all there. It's all very, very tense. The Jeff and Oyston. Let's get it on! Okay, we can see Jeff has Nina on the left hand side. Oyston has Hihachi on the right. Jeff's in the coat. And, uh, sorry, Jeff's in the purple hot pants. Oyston is in the big old man's coat. And it's a great start by Jeff, by American Nina there. That's right, he's using the technique. Oh, oh but great uppercut. Oyston, 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 Oyston again. Fantastic cover by Oyston. He's getting him in oh. the air, Derek, again. That's right. And oh, and Oyston sweet. takes it. Oyston takes it. for that spinning low leg sweep. Uh, America has to win this to avoid coming bottom here. We've really got to hold a great fight back from Jeff. He started OK, but the punches aren't having much effect, Derek. That's right, because Oyster is using excellent defence. And he's going to come back. Oh, no! His defence is... He's going to come back. He's going to This is it. It 
all comes down to this game for the World Championship. Great Britain against Japan, Ryan against Shaw. Let's get it on! Okay, Ryan is playing as Paul, right hand side, red outfit. Shaw is playing as uh, Eddie Tiger Boy, uh, left hand side, funky pants, purple black outfit. And it's a great start by the UK's Ryan there. No, it's not. No, no. Oh my God, it's Japan there. Yes, right. But it's quite even now, it's quite even. Anything can happen. Okay, it's, uh, it's a five point go. Oh, great punches there. Hammer. Oh, Ryan. Oh. Okay, Shaw has got to pull this back. That's He's right. He's got to win oh. the stand. Oh, but a brilliant throw that Excellent down. throw. Comes in there. He's trying to take a fall over the leg sweep. Now, Ryan has to come back. Have a punch. He tried it, but no. Oh, it's all Japan there. He's playing a bloody thing by this time. He really is keeping the pressure on. He but certainly is. Look at the energy bar the top round speed. You can see Ryan to the top round. is very low down. But there's excellent defense on both sides. Oh, that's a great simple kick. champion a fantastic final match were you worried at any point in the fight if i play again i think um, other people win yeah that's, that's very yeah. magnanimous of you yeah. okay let's move on to jeff now you finished second it was just that defeat against orion then in the end that cost you the title i mean i played horrible in that match but i give ryan credit he played better than i did you know i froze up i'm happy with the way it turned out yeah. overall. it's great now ryan hart um, what happened, Ryan, in that, in that last fight? Were you surprised by the combos that, uh, that the show was throwing at you? Uh, not, not really. I just didn't use as many moves as I could have used. I just used really basic stuff. Oh, uh, why? So I'm not sure. Maybe it's because you're worried, you know. Yeah. Uh, finally, Oyston. Do you think that the fact that I mean, Norway never do very well in the Eurovision Song Contest either? Is, is there a relation between Eurovision and Tekken 3? Probably not, no. <laughs> Probably not? Oh, well, it was worth a try. Uh, this has been the final piece of challenge action in the history of Games Master. I think it's fitting that it's probably been the best one we've ever had. I would now like to present the Games Master Golden Joystick to the official Tekken 3 World Champion from Japan, Shohiraki! is our final proper normal challenge games master as such because next week is the final show and it's going to be a moist eyed look at the past seven years i can assure you it will be gayer than tiptoeing through the tulips on a hot summer's day in jacobean times please don't miss it it's your last chance for fun in a dull dull world bye bye <laughs>